Hi, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us. Clearly, we, uh, it's not a secret that we have a labor shortage in our industry, and we're trying to do all we can um, to support that effort, to spread the message to young people of how uh, great of an industry this is and what job opportunities are. So uh, Susie and I have worked a lot on this initiative, and, and one of the things is with partnering with this old house and great programs they have, uh, partnering with the Skilled Labor Fund on programs they have, and trying to do some of our own uh, efforts. So we'll have 150 Las Vegas high school students here tomorrow. We're piling a program at a local high school in New Jersey. So we're, we're kind of putting out? all of our efforts towards um, work, kind of omni-channel promotion of, of the labor right, shortage. Uh, skilled labor, we know 74% of our members express difficulty hiring skilled labor. 48% uh, express difficulty hiring the professional skills. So it's not even, it's beyond skilled labor, it's labor in general for the trades. Um, but this old house has been a phenomenal partner. It's, this is our third year with this old house in supporting Generation Next, and they're just a great group to work with, uh, have great programs, and really what they're providing some practical, relevant uh, uh, opportunities for young people to, uh, to show them what this great industry is about. Lily, Lily, Richard's going to come back on. So when Richard also, comes on, put it on. Richard's uh, we do on. have okay. some teachers. Are they still there? Susie, Las would you Vegas like to go to school? Thank you for coming. Oh, great. Um, we're really glad to have some teachers here today, before Thursday, from the Las Vegas School District. Um, also, donate to the skilledlaborfund.org. Um, every dollar is going to help with scholarships. We also encourage everybody to mentor somebody, intern people, help these kids find a path because. It's been good to all of us. It'll be good to the next generation. We encourage all of you to stay for um, cocktail hour till 5 o'clock. And um, any questions on skilled labor that we might be able to answer? Just as Susie said one thing, I think it's all of our job to, to help impact this, right? We, no, no one institution or organization can do it on their own. So if every single one of the 100,000 trade professionals that are here influence one young person or one young person's parent um, that just be a consideration. We're not saying you, you know, don't go to college and pursue your dream to be a robotics engineer. It's what is this industry about? So if everyone had one conversation or took one opportunity, I think we would, you know, we would start making a dent in, in, the, in what's happening. But it, it takes all of us to, to help work towards this solving the, the, the uh, skilled labor shortage. Thank you.